Hey everybody, Jem Schofield here with the C47 and another episode of Gearbox. I'm actually here in, in the center of the Central Hall in almost like a little secret laboratory after hours. There's a few people around, they're drinking, it's NAB, that happens. More at IBC, but it still happens at NAB. And so let me show you what is right in front of me right here. Let's just pass over. It's a famous Giuseppe move. The reveal, this is one of probably a dozen, maybe two dozen products out of everything that's here at NAB, which is getting just a tremendous amount of attention. This is the ARRI Alexa. It is a cinema camera, it's a digital camera, it's not a film camera. And what really excites me about this camera is this little door right here. Why does that door excite me? Well, there's a card one and a card two slot, and in my hand, I have a Sony S by S Pro card. These might look familiar. These are the same cards that the EX1R and the EX3 record to. The difference is that this camera, this is redonkulous by the way, this camera is going to shoot to these cards in ProRes 4x4 and ProRes 422HQ. I'm going to say that again. This camera, the Arri Alexa, is going to shoot to these cards, up to 32 gig cards, in ProRes 4x4 and ProRes 422HQ. That's huge news. Since ProRes was actually announced, a lot of people have been talking about a camera that actually shot to that codec natively and this camera does. Now this is a high-end cinema camera, has 13 and a half stops of latitude, it's rated at 800 ASA, um, unbelievable signal to noise ratio, and can also record out of the back an uncompressed signal, 444 or 422, can also record to Airy RAW, so that's their own RAW format wrapped in an Airy wrapper. Uh, beautiful little monitor, almost everything you're looking at here by the way is Airy, um, this is an Airy Fujinon lens, Airy map box system, follow focus, sitting on a sweet Cartoni tripod system. But really, that's the big news. With Avid actually supporting ProRes, with Final Cut Studio, of course, supporting ProRes, this becomes a serious, serious contender when we're talking about feature films and high-end production. I think you'll see this thing flying off the shelves in the rental house, a place like Able Cinetech. But I also think that you're going to see people buying this camera because as a complete camera system sans lens uh, package, it's going to cost somewhere around the $70,000 range. And um, this is really, really, really exciting news. Of course, Airy makes lights, they make lenses, they make all kinds of things. Um, but this camera, I think, is going to be the one that people are going to be talking about for a long time and they're going to start to use in production. That's it. I'll see you guys next time. Thank you, Giuseppe. Hey, do you, have you used this camera? Yes. Do you like it? Oh, sure. I love it. Oh, sure. <laughs> and that's Giuseppe. And I'll see you guys next time on Gearbox.